So with that said, let's take the pathway and potentially play black as well. Um, here, I don't think I, well, there's Champion of Wits. It's also a Triome. I'm probably not playing Triome. It's probably Champion here. Yeah, I think that's probably the pick. Seagate Restoration, Thassa's Oracle, Sacred Foundry, not playing, I don't think I'm playing red. Uh, it's gotta be Thassa's Oracle, right? Over Seagate. Um, pretty easy banishing light, I would say, over the Trickster. The trickster is less good if I'm trying to like flicker it with Asa. Looks like a banishing light. Um, Ors off Enforcers, probably mediocre. Vision, I don't know that I want in this deck. Something better than... Is there anything better than Vision, though? I mean, I might end up picking up some instant sorceries, right? I don't know. I guess let's take the Vision and board it. I don't really want to play that, I don't think. Alright, so here I have either Wrath of God... The Lost? I don't know how to... Bill Lip? Philip, Philip, Philip the Lost. It's also a godless shrine. Um, Wrath of God, again, I don't know that I want to be with Wrath of God. Let's take the godless shrine, I think. Now I've got an easy drowned catacomb for that black splash over neutralize, I think. I haven't found. Uh, no Atris. Was Atris in the next pack? It might have been in the next pack. Uh, take the same Vince. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll see a black splash. Or a red splash, excuse me. Um, blue, red, Catria Triome. Okay, well. There's a hostage taker. Probably the pick here, right? Over Fabled Push, over Boon, and Elvis Preborn. There's a Bantu. I found Bantu to be very good. Exclusion Mage is a solid pickup here, I think. Um, not a Doom Foretold deck, I don't think. I could foresee me play it, though. I think I'll take the Exclusion Mage. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. Um, what do we have here? We have not much that I want to play. Mm, irrigated farmland is probably my pick here. I'm not a Jace deck, that's for sure. Um, if anything, I'm a black splash, so I don't want to take too many black cards. Like never return, I don't know that I want that. Let's take the farmland. Um, and now what do we have? Thassa's intervention, Mythos could be good. Mythos, I found Mythos to be very good, actually. But would I rather have a Thassa's intervention? Um, flagship is not good enough, I don't think. Yeah, let's take the intervention. All right, uh, Mythos, no, I don't mention. Uh, there's a Savai Triome. There's a Gary. A 
Warrant Warden, I don't think is quite good enough. Treasure Map's probably the pick, though, over Triome, even. I don't know that I'm playing red. It's just kind of a speculation at this point. And black is just a minor splash, so... Yeah, Treasure Map fixes both my draws and my mana at one point, so... Ooh, uh, Gear Hulk? How good is Gear Hulk here? I've got Opt as my only um, instant. <sighs> Gear Hulk could be very good. Is it better than Teferi? Probably. Uh, there's a Woe Strider? Over what? Probably nothing. No, I'll take the Woe Strider. Um, Hagra's Mulling? Maybe not something I'm ever going to cast? Is it a Crawling Baron's here? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll take the hackers of the Not too happy about that. Uh, isolated Chapel. Over Fable. Fable Push, probably. <laughs> Again, I probably don't want Doom Foretold. Could be an interesting Unburial Rites deck. Because I can cast it and flash it back. Sure, why not? Take the Summit. Probably not end up playing it, but you never know. Uh... Could have built a sick black deck, that's for sure. Sacre Worm? Uh, how good is Massacre Worm? It's triple black. I have a fair amount of black fixing. I mean, it's just so good, right? Luris. This is probably not where I want to be. I think I will slam Golos here. Fairgrounds Warden. Triome. For more black, blue black fixing now? Yeah. Sure. Glacial Fortress. Mythos. Um, yeah, we'll take the Glacial Fortress. I'm short on playables right now. I'm at 18 playables. So I do need to pick up some playables. I don't know why I'm not playing that. Start to finish is very good. If I see any good red, I could potentially play red here. I have a quite a bit of free red fixing. Crafter, Surveyor. I take Plague Crafter. Um, I 
think that's a decent pickup. It's looking like I'm more black heavy than anything. That flickers with Thassa, but I think I'll take this figure. Patient rebuilding? That's so good. But Immortal Sun? I mean, Immortal Sun is kind of broken, right? Um, what do we have here? Probably nothing. So we're going to cut that off. Um... I take Mirrodin's core. I don't really like Mirrodin's core all that much. So let's go with Dust Legion. That might be okay. <sighs> Murray's Wig, huh? I don't have any green fixing. I could have taken green fixing. I have exactly that. It's probably just a win more card anyway. I'll take Ratchet Bomb. I guess. Perilous Vault I'm probably not playing. This is the Mythos. So there are definitely a few things I could have done differently in that draft. I'm kind of wishing I had been more black heavy. Um, Black was pretty open, and I I didn't uh, jump on it when I should have. So we're going to cut the red. And that should have put 17 lands in the deck. Yep, 17. How many white sources did that give me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 white sources for 2 white cards. Is that all I have? Maybe I just cut white. Vanishing Light's really good. So is Cloud Blazer. Okay. I'll leave the white splash. It's kind of funny that my second card was a, was a white pickup and I didn't really end up going into white. Um, I think white's pretty much a free play at this point. How many blue sources do I have? I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's probably fine. Black, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine black sources. Um, I think I want ten black sources. I might cut that basic planes for a black source. I think that's probably a good call. Okay. And now I need to cut two cards. Um, did I get there with Gear Hulk? I don't think so. I have five instants. Maybe I did get there with Gear Hulk. There's Mythos, there's Hagrid's Mauling, there's Start. Probably don't want to cast Start with Gear Hulk. Let's cut Gear Hulk. Um, how good is Ratchet Bomb? Ratchet Bomb's probably fine. Hmm. Um, Burial Rites is again, it's, it's probably a fine pickup too. The cut might be like this figure. I don't have a lot of interaction. That's that's that's, a, that's kind of a problem. Well, I do have interaction, but not as much instant speed interaction. So the goal of this deck is to land Thassa every every game on four. Good boy, 666. Um, hmm, is this a keep? 
I don't have a white source. I have a glass pool for blue. Into an exclusion mage, into a low strider. Yeah, we'll try this. Seems fine. So being on the draw in this format is a significant disadvantage. Best of one on the draw. Not really where you want to be, but what are you going to do? If he goes creature here, I'd probably play an exclusion mage. Um, there's something to be said about playing a low strider to scry, especially if I don't draw a land here. Okay, so I drew the white source. I don't necessarily want to bounce that. So let's play a Woe Strider, I think. At some point I need to find another blue source. I have nine in the deck, so I should find another one pretty easily, I think. If he swings in, I'll probably block and then sack. Block. I was going to scry, I think, anyway, just to just to find another blue source. Um, no, I don't want that. Well, it is more land to get to Immortal Sun. I don't know that I need it though. Not yet. I think finding another blue is more important. So, what do I want? I want him to play. Out of Raska, that's for sure. Not of Raska. Raska is not good for me, is it? But that's pretty. That's a pretty good draw, I'd say. Let's go Thassa here. the turn and then probably play exclusion mage depending on what he does okay sure sacrificing the familiar ah okay Frask is good. Frask is very good. Jade Light. Problem with me bouncing his creatures is that uh, all of his creatures give him value. So I'm kind of kind of stuck on that. Um, so let's actually let's play a champion, I think. Yes, I would like to draw two cards and discard. Um, maybe start and Mythos seems kind of mediocre. No, because I can Mythos like this Raska. Play that for land.
be a mistake, but it was a tough decision. I wasn't quite sure what to do there. So on my turn, I'm probably just going to slam an Immortal Sun here. Um, and then the turn after play Cloud Breaker or Cloud Blazer into like Hostage Taker potentially. I'm not sure. Kind of tough decision making right here. Um, I do wish Finish was instant speed. That would be nice. Fairgrounds Warden, okay. So what's he going to do? Fairgrounds Warden, my champion? No. I know he has that though. We're gonna block the familiar here. I'll let him draw a card, yes. Because I'm probably gonna end up hostage taking the Jade Light at some point here. Mortal Sun shuts off his Raska. So if he doesn't have an answer to this, that's that's good for me. That's very good for me. Now on my turn I can hostage taker his jade light. But that's probably not what I want to do, is it? Hmm, actually, it probably is. Because then if he fairgrounds, if he plays fairgrounds warden. That doesn't do anything for him because I just get this. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that play. I very much like that play. Ooh, there's Golos too. I think we're in a good spot now. Let's do this. Let's take his Jade Light. I should have taken maybe Rejuvenator there. It's tough to say exactly. We're going to play as Rejuvenator. Maybe get a land off the top here. That'd be nice. Two lands. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play Plague Crafter and clear his board. Play Plague Crafter here. I'm going to sacrifice the Jade Light. I'm gonna flicker play crafter. Now he's gonna play Fairgrounds Warden. Take my hostage taker, which I'm fine with. I'm not sure why I didn't sacrifice that in the beginning, but Like I'm in a very good position now. <clears throat> sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yorian. Targeting what? Gilded Goose? Oh man. Taking that Yorian at some point is going to be really good for me. I do 
do need to watch about Millie myself, right? How many cards are left in my library? 17? All right, so what do I, what do I want to do here? I'm going to play a Cloud Blazer, I think. So I thought that I just get auto-tapped, but no, I didn't. Um, and I think we're going to actually sack my Cloud Blazer. Kill Fairgrounds Warden. Take Yorian. Since that leaves the battlefield, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So I have. I do. I, well, no, I have. I guess Platinum Angel. Like I do need to win at some point, or else I'm going to deck myself. Okay, if that's your best play. Oh, Wrath. Fantastic, he's getting back his Yorian. <clears throat> okay, so what can I do? I can Golos. Can Woe Strider. Can play Platinum Angel. I don't think I need to play the Angel yet. Um, let's start with an Op and see what that shows me. Yeah, I don't want that, that's for sure. Vanishing Light. Okay. So let's Banishing Light Yorian, I think, and Slam the Golos. <laughs> yes, I would like to search. Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? To my deck. I can with, win with a Thassa's Oracle at some point. That would be cool. That would be very cool. Let's just hope it's not the last card I draw. <laughs> That'd be my luck. Last card I draw in my deck. Thassa's Oracle. GG LOL. Who knew Thassa's Oracle would be a win condition? <laughs> I certainly didn't. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, ooh, Unburial Rites. Interesting. What can I get back with the Unburial Rites? Hostage Taker. To take his Kogla. This deck turned out to be super sick. I love it. How many cards are left in my deck? Eight. Let's grab Hosh's Taker. I don't know. I mean, I guess OP thinks he has a chance still. He does have nine life here. So, you know. If I were him, I would I would be like, yeah, easy. Easy clap. But uh, little does he know. So right now, Thassa's Oracle hits four deep. Cards left. Uh, 
cycle. Just looking for the fastest oracle, I think, to win this turn. Nothing. Nothing, you say. All right. Uh, let's play a treasure map. Let's see. I have to be careful about what I draw here, right? Let's see. If I draw two with Cloud Blazer, and then I draw two on my turn, unless he makes me draw a card, I'm fine. Okay, cool. End of turn, I'm going to flicker the Cloud Blazer. Wow. It will be the last card. Discard a card. Uh, discard an island, I guess. Eh, swap. Hope he thinks he's just going to win with me decking myself. There's the Oracle. Fantastic. so funny <laughs> dang this deck is crazy i just drew i just drew through my, drew through my entire deck oh it's so much fun i knew i was having fun with this draft didn't realize i was having that much fun all right Let's run it back Um, yeah, I think this is probably fine. It's a little bit on the slow side, but um, the stack has proven to be quite good, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, so I drew another land. Uh, I'm not going to play the Mimic out as a land, I don't think. I need one more land to play the Cloud Blazer. A trophy on the Triome. Uh, resolve, that's fine. I'll just go get a Black Source. I do like the play, OP. I do like the play. Um, I don't think it's quite good enough, though. Got our bones. Got our bones and two lands. Sure. Um, let's see. Let's play Champion of Wits here. Yes, let's draw cards. Um, sure, we're gonna discard Massacre and Unburial Rites. <laughs> now I'd like for OP to play out another creature. What's he doing? Is he just going to concede? <laughs> He's like, dang, combos. Combo, can't beat that. Oh, fuck. Nebraska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he sacrificed it. Draw. Interesting. Interesting. Um, OP is hoping I don't have white source, so let's just uh, say have a nice day. We'll swing in Nebraska. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of advantage out of this. I understand that. Um, but I th think overall, it's a very good play. So uh, now next turn, I can go uh, Cloud Blazer if I'd like to. Um, 
see what OP does here. I might Mythos the Vraska, actually. Although there's not a lot that I'm going to want to sacrifice, so... And this only targets three CMC3 or less. Yeah, I think Cloud Blazer is probably the play. Because that will kill Vraska next... No, it won't kill Vraska next turn. Oh. Well. Well. In that case, if you gotta twist my arm. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about Vraska, but at the moment, he's sacrificing a lot of permanents. And... I'm probably fine with him... Um, he's gonna play a citrus supplier. That's a cool combo. I like that for sure. I like that. Sacrificing a citrus supplier. What does he have? Does he have some like command of the dread horde potentially? Interesting. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just Cloud Blazer, I think. If I don't draw a land, I was like, if I don't draw a land here, I'm going to play the Mimic out as a land. If there's tapped. Yes. I will flicker this. Um, I will have to discard a card. And that's fine. I'll just discard a Swamp here, I think. think that's nice OP, just wait until I play my host hostage taker. So what can I do? I can hostage taker Luris. That doesn't do a lot for me. Um, if he swings with Luris, I'm probably blocking with Cloud Blazer. <sighs> 20 cards in library. Am I blocking the Cloud Blazer? That's a good question. I half didn't expect him to do that. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, no. I don't think I will actually. I think what I'm going to do is um, see what's he going to do. Bring back Better Bones here. Yeah, that's fine. Just comes back to his hand. Um, I do need to answer the brass at some point. Is the play to hostage taker the Luris? It might be. It might be. And then he won't be able to destroy. Well, he could destroy his own Luris. But he won't be able to destroy my hostage taker. Let's do that. Let's let's hostage taker Luris. We're gonna cast Luris. And then we are going to flicker hostage taker and take his. Crypt Breaker. I'm going to attack into Vraska. <laughs> and he concedes. He knows it's over. Fantastic. <laughs> Easy. All right, easy 2-0, oh. let's see if we can make it three. If you like this content, please like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube. 
And if you'd like to catch me live, uh, I have a link to my Twitch account within my YouTube as well. And uh, you can catch me live uh, generally Monday through Friday, not every day, but usually around 10 a.m. Uh, I usually stream for a few hours at a time. So um, I am trying to reach Twitch affiliates. So if you want to help me out there, be much appreciated. Give me a follow. Say hello in chat. Tell me how you're doing. Um, yeah, I think this hand is solid. Um, I'm debating leading on this, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to lead with this. Play a Drowned Catacomb next turn and play a Dust Legion. Dust Legion. Um, if I don't draw a land, then I can play the Hagras on three, which is going to slow me down a little bit, yeah. But, um... I think that's fine. Okay, well, still no lands. I drew a six and a four drop. Um, okay, so now we're going to run this out and play a treasure map. Uh, treasure map is going to help me get to that fourth land drop. Um. Let's not attack. We'll leave that back to block, I think. Phoenix. I don't like Red Rocks Me, that's for sure. I don't like Red Rocks Me. Uh, okay, there's a land drop for the Thassa. So I think I'm just going to slam Thassa here and uh, again, not attack. I'm gonna Flash the Dusk Legion to draw hopefully another land or two here. I can go back to back land and play a Masakre. Ooh, Glass Pool. Uh, that's probably going to be played as a land next turn, I have to say. All right, uh, taking three, go to 13. And then what? I get to taking five. Okay. I don't mind him just pumping there. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to play the, the Glass Pool as a land. And come on, um, I'm gonna play out a low strider here. Six, yeah, I'll have six men up next turn. Next, and we're gonna flicker the low strider for sure. Now next turn I'll be able to mas uh, massacre which should be good honestly that should be a very good play uh that's all he has here it's gonna hurt yes but i can take the pain for a turn pass sure go to damage okay I am getting dangerously low on life against Mono Red Aggro, which I do not like. <laughs> um, we're going to save this back as a blocker. We're just going to let that die now, and I'll uh, scry again the treasure map EOT. Um, I don't need that either. At this point, I'm, I'm up to six mana, which is all I need for the deck to run. Well, there's another land anyway. I have three black. Yeah, I have more, more than one black there. Okay. Okay. Masakre is a very good play. He is going to put two damage to me here. No reason to get greedy and attack. Also no reason to flicker a massacre worm. Now I'm in a very good position. Um, the only thing I die to is, oh shoot, I die to that this turn, don't I? No, I don't, I go to two. So if he doesn't have a shock in hand, 
I need to draw a Cloud Blazer stat. Should have maybe. Let's attack here. I want to leave up the Mythos, don't I? I'm going to create a copy of Massacre from here. And we'll end my turn. We're going to Flicker Massacre. Sure, he's going to go to eight. Now he's dead on board. So he has to kill me this turn. And if he doesn't do that, then I win next. This is a very close game, OP. Very close game. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, man. Got him at two life. OK. Easy three, though. Let's go again. Easy clap. <sighs> All right, um, here, I don't have a white source for start, finish, or cloud blazer. Hmm. I do have double blue for Thassa's Oracle. And I'm on the play. All right, let's try it. Might be a mistake. Um, we're going to lead with Zagath Trion. <sighs> and hope to draw a land. No land. OK, so we're going to slam the Mimic here. And. And hope to draw a white source at some point. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we'll lead with Thassa's Oracle into potentially a counter spell. If I get censored here, I'm going to be real upset. Uh, let's hope to see a white source underneath. Submit zero, unfortunately. I can't take either of those at the moment. So it looks like I'm be, I might be playing against some sort of control. Um, hard to say at this point. Hard to say. Uh, considering OP hasn't done anything yet, I bet my money on it, but who knows. All right, so now I have triple black and triple blue. Color set there, I just need one white source. <sighs> He got a counter spell. No, he does not. Might as well run out the Ratchet Bomb. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start accumulating counters just yet. I don't know what I'm playing against. So let's just, uh, I think, just relax and see what I see. In the comment section, please uh, tell me what you want to see. What what kind of what kind of content would you like to see? Uh, do you want to see a little bit more of a draft where I run through my thought process as I'm drafting and whatnot, or would you like to see ooh field of the dead combo? Interesting. Would you like to see something else? Just uh, shoot me a shoot me a message and let me know. All right. Well. This isn't a lot of value, but I think I need a white source. And finding a finding a um, sixth land for Immortal Sun is going to be very good here. Ooh. <gasps> okay, thank you. I was like, did it misclick? That would have been brutal. OK, 
Okay, so no next turn. Depending on what OP does, I can slam the Mortal Sun. Golos. Uh oh. Uh oh. We in trouble, boys. We in trouble. Okay. So. I'll need to answer the Golos pretty quickly. He has red. He has black, he has blue. I assume he's about to find, yep, there's white, okay. Um, I guess we can start rashing it up. Oh, no, 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 oops. Oh, man, that's not what I meant to do. This click. This clicks are the worst. No reason to say nice, OP. No reason to do that. Okay, uh, so he's gonna take Cloud Blazer here. Taking start finish would be a mistake. I mean, you can swing if you'd like to. Um, I don't. Oh, baby. There she is. There she is. I'm gonna pay two life. Cause I'm crazy. Cause I'm crazy. There's my honey. Sweet baby girl. Come on, OP. Come on, OP. What you got? I didn't need to pay two life. I got ahead of myself. I was super excited. Nice. Great shark. It's a creature. That's not fair. Lasad. Super Lasad. Super duper Lasad. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Another token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, OP. No swings. Yes, I would like to flicker Thassa's Oracle. I would like to have been able to res the uh, Cloud Breaker there. Um. Slam Golos here. That seems like a pretty good play. Woe Strider might have been a better choice. It's hard to say for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna block one of these dudes. Take 10. I don't like, but what are you gonna do? Now's where I wish I hadn't have made the mistake with Ratchet Bomb. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you get? Lyra Dotfinger. Okay, so I'm gonna have to kill that, right? Which is unfortunate, but. Okay. Yes, I can do both. Fantastic. Yes, I would like to search. Get a drowned catacomb. Create two tokens. Kill Lyra. <sighs> Can't let that pesky dude float around. Uh, no swings. Leave back the blockers. I'm going to flicker Thassa's Oracle again. Uh, 
Uh, Hagrid's mauling is probably a good option here. I need to kill his Golos. I guess good news is he can't swing with Golos this turn. I mean, he can if he wants to, but... I get to block. Whiff, 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 whiff. Ah, gotcha! Oh, man. I like it when you're lucky. When I'm lucky, not you. I like it when I'm lucky, not you. I never want you to be lucky, ever. Oh, you just have it all. I love it when you just have it all. Hope he probably thinks I'm making a mistake here. What I hope he doesn't know is I have a Hagra's mauling in hand. Oh, you're stupid, Golos. Okay, next. No attacks. Enzita, Flicka, Thassa's Oracle. I will accept a, con a, con a concession, uh, opponent. If you would like to concede, I would kindly accept, I think the exclusion mage here is going to be very good. Approach? Oh, that's not fair. How far is it? The seventh from the top, so I have to win in that many turns? Oh, and he's surveilling to pitch one. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, so I'm at 20, I'm at 19 cards, 18 cards. Okay, so I can win here. I can win. I know I'm, I'm not getting value out of the hostage taker. That's fine. Click a tackle. I'm at 16 cards left in deck. That's cry six. Let's flash the champion. This card, a Dusk Legion, and a Will Strider. Leave up the Mythos. Um, I th think next turn I should be able to win with. Uh... Can I wait? Can I win? Dante. The top four cards. Put the rest of the on the bottom in any order. Okay, sure. So I have 12 cards, 10 cards. What could he have gotten? Good question, who knows? So I guess the Mythos, a champion of wits. Or is Thassa's Oracle better? Blade Crafter. Okay, Glacial Fortress. I could just tap both of his creatures and swing. I don't think that's how I win this game, though. Let's see. I've got 10 cards left in the library. 
can I win this turn? Let's see. I draw three here, go to seven. Yeah, let's do that. Let's copy champion. Oh, he, he could have a uh, mythos to kill my Thassa's Oracle. That would be the problem with this. Okay. If that's all he has, though, now he's tapped out. I get to go play crafter. Tap here, swing. Got him. All right. Another close game. I thought he was going to win with approach there, but. That's four and four and oh. Let's uh, let's make it five. Let's make it five. <clears throat> I am glad you're you're very good, Pedro. That's good to hear. Uh yeah, this hand is pretty solid i would say op on the play with red rocks me okay I don't like Red Rocks. Me, <laughs> it's a, it's just, it's a good deck. It is a very good deck. So, I'm going to need to draw well, and I need OP to not draw so well. Um, let's actually play this out so that I have the ability to banishing light. There's a good chance I'll need a banishing light when he plays here. Yeah, I will. Okay. Actually, I can exclusion mage. Okay. Yeah, let's start doing that. Let's, I can exclusion mage the annex here, which will buy me um, some time, and then potentially banishing light now, especially since he missed the land drop there. Yeah, I'm going to block for sure. I'm going to token. Um, yeah, I have to banish and right? the annex. And then hopefully I can just go runner runner black source here. That would be the most ideal. Um, if not, I can ratchet bomb for one. Yeah. Okay, so next turn I can go Ratchet Bomb, Treasure Map. Be able to scry with Treasure Map. Ooh, Cloud Blazer is also very good. Let's play Cloud Blazer. Draws me two, gives me a land, gains two. I block the Gitu here. If he has a removal spell, that's fine. Okay. Sure. Uh, that puts me at six mana. I'm taking three, four, five, six, seven this turn. I can Ratchet Bomb for zero. Let's play the Immortal Sun. And hope he doesn't have it. 
Okay. That's fine. Okay. I'm at two. I'm at two. And I did not get there. I needed a black source. So that's 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 that. Alright, well. Uh, bound to lose one eventually, right? Try for that seven wins. I can still go seven one, right? I mean, I did win four in a row. Now I can just go seven. I can go three zero, oh, four zero, oh, four zero oh, three three one. There we go. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Can I get on the play, please? One time on the play. Hope she goes first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. There's no blue source in the hand, but I'll draw one. I have three, I have two black, and I have a white source, and I have a dust legion. Oh, look at you with the brush fire playing standard. There's the blue source. Awesome, I'm gonna play a dust legion. Glass pools, probably a fine draw there. Uh, very worst, I can play it out of the land. Kazandu Mammoth. Oh boy. We in trouble, boys. We in trouble. Uh, play out a white source. Question is, do I Mythos the Kazandu Mammoth? Do I Champion of Wits here? I think I'll Champion double block the Mammoth potentially. I'm gonna pitch a glass pool and an opt. I'll keep all my lands. No attacks. Okay. I assume he has another another uh, land drop here. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So we need to chump the mammoth. I'll take three. Surveyor, okay. Sure. Chump the mammoth. Take three. Unleashed, huh? Boy, that's a rough one. I have to destroy a creature with that. Resolve, resolve. Let's hope he chooses to pump. Now I get to Mythos in response. Cloud Blazer is going to get me some more life here. <laughs> and 
And I'll be able to attack into Garrick. Dire Fleet, awesome. Uh, he's going to target Mythos and destroy my Cloud Blazer. That's fine. Next turn, I'll be able to play Massacre Worm. That's fine, okay. Uh, let's see. Yep. Sacre Worm. <laughs> Take six OP. Attack Garrick. Now what can I do? Tender shoot. Tender shoot. Create a 3-3. Three, three, and then create a token on my turn. So my ratchet bomb here. Blow the bomb for zero. He takes four. Kill the tender shoots. OP takes eight. Good game. Good game. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's keep it rolling. There's there's that there's another win. We're at five and one. We are five and one. Two more, two more, let's go. This is one of the most fun decks I've drafted on this cube or in this cube. Thassa is incredibly good if built. If, if you get if you get lucky and you get the creatures that, that flicker well, Thassa is just broken. Just be like me and pack one, pick one it. Oh uh, I might regret keeping this. We'll see. I am on the play, so that's nice. I guess it'll go turn two, Ratchet Bomb. Okay. I'm playing against red, or I, I'm not playing against aggro, it looks like, so I'm probably fine. Um, this this deck just kind of wrecks anything that's not aggro. And even aggro, I have a very good matchup against, so. What I don't want to see is blue. I don't want to see counter magic. Just let me do my thing. Okay, everything's fine. We're fine. I'm just going to play some spells. I said no blue, OP. I said no blue. You're cheating. Blue is cheating. Okay, I'm just going to let Ratchet Bomb hang out. Uh, I don't need to play that as a land. I have two more sources here. If I don't draw a land in the next two draws, it's just super unlucky. Okay. Now we get to leave up a Hagra's Mulling. Sure. If he's just gonna chill, I'm gonna play. Alright. I assume he has a counter spell in hand. Um, and that's fine. I have a burial rights to bring it back if I want to. Sure. 
If I'm playing against a super counter in every deck, I'm going to be annoyed. That's just not fun. I say no, you can't cast spells. Yeah, well, you know, you can... Got your own Golos? What you got? Sphinx? Sphinx? Mm, I think I'm probably fine with him scrying one on upkeep, right? Uh, let's just put a counter on. No, I did the same thing again. God dang it, man. That's frustrating. Uh... Yeah, I'll let him scry and upkeep. That's that's totally fine. Um, I have triple black. I have double blue. Let's get another blue white source. Um, I think I have another one, right? Uh, I don't. Other than the farmland. Yeah, let's pick up the farmland. That's fine. It's my cycle land, but uh, I want one more white and one more blue on the battlefield. One on top, huh? One on top. I like your style. I like your style. What do I want to draw here? What's my best draw? Thassa is up there for sure. Thassa is just the wheelhouse of this deck by far. So I'm going to Banishing Light then. Oh, there's Thassa. See if he counters Thassa. I'm probably fine with him countering Thassa, to be honest. Just because I can bear, uh, burial rights. Um, do I kill the search now? It's gonna. Mm, mm, I don't know. <sighs> no, I don't think I do. As much as I want to, I think that's a mistake. Uh, let's get the Drowned Catacomb. What I would like for him is to play like one more creature or something um, with lower. One on top still, okay. So these two kind of work a little bit against each other, not, not too much, but um, they're both doing basically the same thing. TSG, sure. Yes, she dies, not dies, but uh, gets hit by Banishing Light, which is fine by me. Okay, uh, I guess I have to let that resolve. He doesn't have any creatures in the yard. Uh, 
I do need to draw something relevant here pretty soon. Unfortunately, Massacre Worm's not the best in this matchup. I also need to do my darnest to keep creatures out of my yard because TSG will start to wreck me if I don't do that. Should have maybe put a red source in this deck just so I could activate Golos. Wasn't really thinking about that. I should have. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to tap TSG. Take four in the air. Sure. Problem is, if I kill the Sphinx, Good. I'm gonna have to unburial rights now. So he can't bring it back with TSG. It's a tap land. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, did not want to see it land there. Nine. I could have flickered Massacre Worm there to kill the Sphinx, but he would just bring it back with TSG. It might have still been the play. I don't know. It's hard to say for sure. Having that dive down was big, really big. So I'm at 12 mana now, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Yeah, I'm at 12 mana. So I'm not sure OP can really afford to it. Well, I guess he has to try to attack, right? Otherwise, I just tap it down anyway. I'm only swinging for nine now, which is kind of unfortunate. Blood Chief's Thirst. Okay. Let's see. I could champion, draw two, discard two. That doesn't really seem that great. Cancel. Cancel Ghost Rider. So I can bring back my Golos now on upkeep. Which is kind of unfortunate. If he wants to. But that taps him down on mana pretty good. Um, the fact that I have so much mana available to me makes it bad for him. It's gonna be a close game, I think. 
uh, no matter what happens here. I might have to play out the champ. Ah, I should have played the champion. Champion would have given me the win next turn. Gosh. Gotta think about these things. Gotta think about these things. So a removal spell for Massacre Worm is like the worst possible thing for me, right? Nothing search. Okay. Trigger on the stack, getting Golos. Right. Resolve. Yeah, I would have won the game next turn if I had if I played out champion. Assuming he didn't have a removal spell. What are you gonna do? If I draw a glass pool mimic, I might still be able to win this turn. cycle this actually might be a mistake but let's do it oh i did draw it he's got the essence scatter Come on with that nonsense, bro. He drew the essence scatter. To be fair, I guess I did draw the glass pool mimic. Sure. Not going to help you a whole lot, I guess, is it? I can't. Oh, well, okay. Well, that. I was dead no matter what there. Going for the win killed me. Uh, I should have played the champion the turn before. Good game. If I didn't go for the win there, I would have won. All you have to do is get Massacre Worm and, or copy Massacre Worm. Does it copy any creature? No, just a creature you control. Dang it. That game should have been mine. That game should have been mine.
Yep, there's the game. Good game. There's no need to do all that, just just attack with Sphinx. There you go. Good job. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, he's gonna go to one. Okay, well, I think on that note, I will leave the final two rounds up to my Twitch tomorrow. I'll live stream rounds 